Hey everyone, this is Adam with another quick tutorial. So if you opened up Adobe After Effects or Premiere Pro and you're getting this system compatibility report error, you need to update your graphics card. So go ahead and click on continue with known issue because I didn't see any way of exiting out of this. And then once your application opens, just X out the normal way. And then what we need to do is we need to search for device manager or just go into device manager and once you're in device manager go under display adapters and select your graphics card that was the known issue right click and try to update driver hit search automatically chances are the same thing's going to happen to you because nvidia geforce does not like to update within the device manager so what i want you to do is copy the link from the description below as if you have the nvidia card or and you need the driver copy the link for the nvidia but otherwise you'll have to go and find your website for your particular driver and um download it but if you have an nvidia this this video is for you um but this trust me this may apply to the rest of you so um, it might be worth watching the rest of it i have a 30 series which means i have a 3050 so anything that's in that range will fall under the series so i'm going to select notebook because i have a notebook um i might have been able to get away with the 30 series but i am just went with notebook because i have the notebook now i'm going to change the to the exact version i have and you'll see that the 3060s 3080s all are in there but i'm going to do the 3050 ti laptop and with the gpu and then i'm going to change it to windows 11 operating system because that's what i have but now you're just going to go ahead and click download here and it'll bring you to another download page go ahead and click download again and then once you click download you're going to see it start downloading in the upper right corner go ahead and then just click it to open it and then once it opens, you can um, just go ahead and keep it exactly where it's at and go ahead, go ahead and hit the OK button. And then this will just take a minute for it to run. Uh, the second part's a little bit slow. So then the uh, NVIDIA graphics driver application will start running and you can select so i kept graphics driver and geforce experience you can select just nvidia graphics driver and then hit agree and continue um that's up to you whichever one you want to do i did express you can do it custom advanced i don't know what's underneath that i didn't really check it out but i just did um i left it as is Now, before this actually finishes up, I, I just want to say that uh, probably a good bet when you're done installing the graphics card driver, I would restart your computer. Um, that will ensure that you get the best performance when it's done. It'll reload a fresh operating system, and uh, hopefully you don't experience any issues. When mine was done uh, loading, I immediately went into After Effects and it, it it was kind of laggy. So go ahead and you can go ahead and hit close. Uh, you can uncheck some of those if you want, if you don't want to create a desktop shortcut, but that's pretty much it. So the next thing I did was I opened, um, go ahead and close. I forgot about this. Go ahead and close out of this. I, I mean, if you want to sign up for it, that's up to you. I just closed out of it for now. Um, I'll take a look at that later. That's one of the reasons why I installed it. I want to see what that's all about. But now I'm going to go into Adobe After Effects and show you that it opens perfectly fine. I no longer receive the error uh, saying that I don't have a compatible driver. Um, what I will say, though, is once I got, got into After Effects, it, it seemed a little bit slow for some reason and so that's why i went and um restarted but hopefully this helps you and if it does please consider liking and subscribing uh thanks for watching